Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring to you this special bulletin. Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, is problematic. But I'm sure you've already heard this numerous times. But we got some more information. This new article from uh, esports.gg. Tomb Raider franchising. Change it. I can't even read this seriously. My goodness. Okay. Tomb Raider franchise changing to help escape colonial past. Help me, somebody, please help me understand all this nonsense. Colonial past, the power fantasy, the the original, one of the original girl boss power fantasies of adventuring, breaking the mold, going out, looting stuff. Finding, going to interesting play, places and shooting people and animals and all this other stuff. And all the triangle titties, of course. A minute? I think I'm good. Is going away. Lara Croft is creating a more noble path for herself. I believe this is part of a board game. Shadows of Truth, maybe? Oh, boy, oh, boy. The popular British explorer and adventurer, Lara Croft. I always said Laura. I don't care shoot me is getting a revamp no not on looks oh but yeah not on looks because well she's already gotten one in one iteration after another after another the classic look the buxom bombshell that is lara croft has gone away because now you get full covered shirts no tank top no short oh well of course i mean we do have this one you know if you go about right there right lara croft was always a hottie but eh. Look, I'm, I'm going to keep jumping from Lara and Laura, all right? Roast me in the comments, by all means. Boy, oh boy. Popular British explorer and adventurer Lara Croft is getting a revamp. No, not on looks, because she already got one a long time ago, but on how she defines herself within the world of exploration. Because we just can't have exciting power fantasies, escapism in our video games. To help escape her colonial past evil hat productions you got that name right evil bastards and crystal dynamics who are trying to drive the franchise into the ground to the point where they're going to lose money and money and money and maybe shut down maybe the lara croft franchise the ip will go into better hands mm. plan to give her character a brand new light and motivation instead of being a tomb raider which is again power fantasy Fun escapism. Lara Croft will now be defined as a seeker of truth. Why not just make a new game? How about this? Instead of piggybacking off the Lara Croft name, I said it again, instead of piggybacking on the popularity of that franchise and the few uh, fans that you have left after changing the character and ruining her, that some people would see it, why don't you make a new game? Why don't you make a new strong female character similar to Lara Croft, but maybe make her look like Phoebe Waller-Bridge from Indiana Jones. Make her look like that. Put her in a game, make her a seeker of truth, the truth seeker Phoebe Waller-Bridge, and see just how well. Do the same thing that you're going to do with the new Tomb Raider or not Tomb Raider games, but with a different female protagonist and see just how well that game sells. But you won't, because you know exactly how it's going to sell, i.e. it's not, even remotely. Invading these IPs, changing them around from what fans came to the franchise for, changing them to suit your own personal ideologies, inserting real-world nonsense into a fun, essentially light-hearted, Make believe. And that's the key word. It's make believe. It's fantasy, fiction, not real. Video game, escapism, fun. You're taking the fun out of the game. And people are gonna go people are going to be turning their backs, moving away from your nonsense, and finding or actually just go back and play the older games. Just do that. Regardless of whether discla whatever disclaimers they put at the beginning of the game, because, oh, this game was made at a time, our views and values do not represent the same as this video game that was fun! <sighs> Especially the little handstand that you could do as Lara, you know, handstands, legs split up, that was, oh. Yes, uh, all prepubescent -pre boys' wet dreams. Instead of being a Tomb Raider, Lara Croft will now be defined as a seeker of truth. I'm sorry I repeated that. Uh, to escape colonial...
past in new Tomb Raider series. Yes, here we go. A tomb, uh, tabletop game, which is... I am interested to see what the numbers are going to be like for this. Tomb Raider Shadows of Truth will be the first look we get at this revamped Lara Croft, which they will obviously, no doubt in my mind, and a lot of other people's minds, that they will drag this new vision of Lara, the beloved buxom bombshell, and they will take this vision from the tabletop game and push it into their future video games. Everyone sees it, everyone knows it's coming, and they're shutting their wallets nice and tight. So what exactly is Lara trying to escape? Well, when looking at the, fa the phrase Tomb Raider, oh no, it's a problematic word. It essentially hints at searching tombs. Yes, fun stuff, because you run into fantasy stuff. And taking whatever artifacts are found. Sounds like fun to me. I don't know. Classic. Tomb I mean, whatever. Not only is this disrespectful to absolutely no one, because it doesn't re it's not real. It doesn't exist. You can make fantastical locations, civilizations that aren't actually real. Things that there are myths, legends. Send her to Atlantis, for Christ's sake, if they haven't already. Send her to places that there are only rumors of, folks' tales, old wives' tales, and just put that in the game if you're so worried about disrespecting whatever culture hid those artifacts. It's a video game. Oh my lord. Again, why is this concept so foreign to some of these jacktivist developers? <sighs> but it also creates the notion that Finders Keepers is acceptable within the world of history. No, but it's perfectly acceptable in the realm of fantasy, fantastical escapist video games. Ah. <sighs> I know I seem to repeat myself a lot in some of these one video after another after another, but it just it comes across that the people making these games, these developers, the publishers, the jacktivists on Twitter don't seem to understand the concept that we preach over and over again. Oh, you don't like the look of this character because you're a what a misogynist like, no, I don't like the look of the character because they're ugly and I like looking at pretty things. Oh, you don't like this because of that. You don't like. No, we're quite clear about the things that we like and things we don't like. And to have publishers and developers and all these people to be constantly gaslit over and over again, it's getting kind of tiresome. So, to avoid any sort of confusion, and mostly because every video is somebody's first, just gotta repeat yourselves. What do you like about the game? It's a fantasy, it's make-believe. Power, fantasy, escapism. The more recent Tomb Raider trilogy did take a step in the right direction. <laughs> Opinions vary. As the majority of those games followed her through an epic adventure. As she strode to uncover a bunch of mysteries. Why didn't she bring Shaggy and Scooby in the game? Could have helped her out a lot. She wouldn't have got impaled by those. I saw some of those death scenes. Oh my goodness. The original games, though, were a lot more about acquiring different items from tombs. Probably because... Basic story, basic mechanics, sold extremely well, became exceptionally popular. While the most recent list of most famous, recognizable protagonists in games, somehow Lara Croft came in number one with Super Mario, with Mario coming in number two, nobody believes you, but whatever. Lara Croft is still an extremely recognizable Angelina Jolie, oh my goodness, as Lara Croft in the movie. So yes, very popular, very recognizable, but you just want to change it all over. You want to change the story, change her path into a less colonial, like, Jesus Christ. Anyway, <sighs> article continues rating. Oh, what is this quote from? Rating, as depicted in the original Tomb Raider games and stories, involves going on ancient tombs, going to ancient tombs, and historical sites of different civilizations and acquiring artifacts, which has absolutely no effect, in case you didn't know this, the actions of yourself in a video game, and the history and tales and the stories that the video games tell, have absolutely no bearing on reality. Said the official Tomb Raider Shadows of Truth rulebook, it operates on the assumption of finders keepers that grants raiders with the means and the drive to claim ownership of artifacts, regardless of whether they have any historical or cultural claim on the treasure. Because it doesn't matter, because it's cool, it's fun, let's go grab stuff and stick it up and make it look pretty in our home. Uh, learning from history should help humans strive, except we're not, we don't seem to be learning from history. And while it 
you know, might be a good idea to learn some actual history in a video game. You make it fun. People learn a lot more. Um, I'm not interested in learning about history in a video game. I'm, learn I'm interested in being entertained by the fun, jovial, and, of course, triangle tits here. Um, hey, she was the first of her kind. Don't give me no shit. The history of Tomb Raider. We all know the history of Tomb Raider. What the hell? Go away. We all know the history of Tomb Raider. The first game was released in 1996. Sold. Mi sold. You can't even say how many copies it sold. 12 main titles with a multi spinoff. Blah, blah, blah. We all know the history. What do we got here? Oh, my goodness. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't expecting that one, but let's just kind of get a palate cleanser, as Hypnotic likes to say. Let's have a little palate cleanser right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to keep that up for a little while. The problem in all this, like I said before, people go to video games for the fantasy, for the power fantasy, the escapism. When it comes to the Tomb Raider games, they play as Lara Croft. Nobody cared that there was a strong female character. So it kind of goes, breaks the narrative. As popular as that video game franchise was, it goes against everything that's being shoved down our throats today. So how can that game be so popular if all gamers are just misogynist man babies? But I digress. We want our games to be fun. We're not interested in realism. We especially don't want to feel like we're being preached to. And that looks like the route that these games are going, that the Lara Croft, the Tomb Raider franchise is going, because she's no longer going to be raiding tombs, probably going to be going into these and trying to get those artifacts back to their rightful owners, because that's just the right thing to do. Right, ladies and gentlemen? Like I said before, take that idea. Put someone that looks like Phoebe Waller-Bridge's character in Indiana Jones and the Diaper of Dysentery. And see how well that sells. And I promise you, it won't sell for squat. But let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like, leave a dislike. Do all those nifty little things us YouTubers beg you to do. And I hope to see you on the next one.